the uh, slide on the right showing the properties are properties of today. Yes. That are available. Really addressing higher frequency applications, high speed motors. Hmm. And, and that certainly has a fit and needs to be promoted to the design engineers. But to grow the market outside those higher speed motors uh, into other areas for SMC, what changes need to be implemented to get into those areas? Do you have any, any, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I, Dale, that's a great question. And again, I think what needs to be done is, number one, I think a basic education. You know, if you think about SMCs, we who work in it all the time understand very clearly what it is. Those people who don't may not have a good clue. So I think doing videos such as what we're doing, having these kinds of chats are going to be extremely helpful, maybe helping to get the word out, you know, to what's going on. But to answer more specifically what your question was, is, is what are we doing? And, and I think we have to look at what we see on the left, the BH curve. How can we improve the performance right now of a current SMC, or I say current, improve the performance of the current SMCs to what we have maybe that may more closely resemble that of a lamination steel. And, and I think we have some interesting work that's going to, we've just started it. Some of the results are really promising. This next image that we're showing is actually some recent work we've done. And I mean, when I say recent, I mean, it's very recent. But what we've tried to do is reimagine SMCs. We all know that SMCs are, are currently processed at around 1,000 degrees. And we talked about, you know, it's not high enough to really anneal some of the work hardening. But one of the things we said, well, can we get higher in temperature to affect that annealing operation? And so what we're actually looking here is we've done some work with some novel coatings that we've developed on our end that suggests that we can now anneal this product, and this was annealed at 1400, well into the range where we start magnetically annealing the SMC. But if you see, if you notice behind us, that we see that the interparticle insulation has actually stayed very much intact, even at these higher performance levels or these higher annealing temperatures. So we think that one way of addressing this is to do this. You know, if we look at it now back to what we were talking about is the BH curve. It does two things for us. Number one is it shrinks the so-called A sub C value or the coercive force value because now we see that what happens there is that because of that cold work, we get a broadening of the curve. And what that effectively means is that it takes more current to get or more energy to sweep through it. So if we can shrink that portion, we see a certain beneficial effect uh, from that. So now when we look at that BH curve, we see the effects of, you know, what, what would we do by the annealing side of it? That's part of the equation. The other part of the equation is what can we do with that oxide? Can we make that in a way that instead of being a hindrance in the magnetic circuit, it can actually help us in the magnetic side of things? So we're looking at it in a twofold as, as a problem. Basically, that's twofold. One is to say by annealing, we do some shrinking. And by using the proper mix of materials, which PM is very excellent at doing, we can now actually get rid of some of this effectively magnetic insulation in a particle. We'll still have the electrical insulation, but now we won't have the magnetic insulation. So now we think the combination of those two will now give us a part or give us a component and a, and a material that can be very favorably with laminations. It's important to note that we're not being satisfied with what's out there at the moment. We're taking the approach that, yes, it's a great starting material. But more importantly, it's just that, a starting material. We think that we can use our imagination, we can use the skills that are available to further enhance what we see here and take it to a level people haven't seen before. Not too terribly different than what we've been talking about off and on with some ultra high temperature centering. A similar approach will follow. That if, you're, if you want to stay where you are, stay where you are. I always recall what Lee Iacocca, famous words where, you know, you have, you know, you can lead, follow, or get out of the way. We want to take the lead position.